Hey everyone, I'm just making a pre-hair shaving post. I'll be shaving my hair off momentarily. Not that I have much, but this stuff up here I'll be shaving off. Now, my reason for shaving my head is that I have something that is called trichotillomania. It's a hair pulling disorder. So, it's an impulse control disorder basically. And for the longest time, it was categorized as an OCD, an obsessive compulsive disorder. However, recent studies have shown that there's a link between hair pulling and Tourette's. So in fact, um, trichotillomania could be a form of Tourette's. Now, when most individuals think about Tourette's, they picture people screaming out profanities and, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, Tourette's could be just as you know, simple as someone constantly blinking and not being able to control their blinking. So, with my hair pulling, half the time I'm not even aware that I'm pulling. And when I am aware that I'm pulling, it's, it's, it's a strange thing. I feel like I don't have control of my mind, like I don't have control of my own mind. And while I'm pulling, I, don't, I mean, I don't want bald spots. Nobody wants bald spots, you know, self-inflicted bald spots, especially. So the strangest thing is when I'm pulling, I can't bring myself to stop because at that moment, my brain is saying I'm choosing to pull. And it's like this irresistible urge. It's kind of like trying to hold back a sneeze. It's, it feels impossible. So I've been struggling with this um, since I was about 14. And the funny thing is, I can pinpoint the exact moment that it started. I was in ninth grade in science class. We were looking at things under a microscope. So the teacher told us to pull out a hair to look at under the microscope. I pulled it out. It felt pretty damn good. And that's how it started. Since that day, I've been pulling out my hair. Um, I've been on medication for it. I've tried everything. Uh, my doctor said it's um, anxiety related. Yes, I do have anxiety, but I even do it when I'm not feeling anxious. So I'm not sure how to go about stopping other than shaving my head. I guess it could be considered habit as well. So if I'm unable to pull, I'm hoping I could rid myself of this habit. They say it takes 90 days to break a habit. Some people say 30, but I think 90 days is more um, reasonable. So if I shave my head, my hair will be so short that I won't be able to grab at it to pull it out. So if I just keep shaving it every couple of days, I won't be able to pull it. Like I physically will not be able to pull because it it'll be too short. Because even this right here, I can pull that out and I have, I'll show you my patches in a moment. So. I'm hoping for maybe a month or two I'll just keep shaving and then maybe because I won't be able to pull, I won't be able to get over it. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I can figure out another way to stop. I actually went to see my doctor last week and I mentioned the hair pulling to him and asked if there has been any, um, any new developments, you know, any new drugs that are geared towards, you know, this sort of condition. And he said there's, um... I can't remember what, I think it's, is it Ambilify? Amplify, Ambilify, something like that. So he prescribed me that. He gave me some free samples so I could check it out. Well, it took five milligrams and I was experiencing all the initial side effects and they were pretty bothersome. So I only took that half a pill. So obviously I didn't notice, you know, any improvements because I only took it for one day. But I just couldn't handle the side effects. I felt nauseous. I was gagging all day. I couldn't even eat or anything. So, getting back to the hair. Okay. So this is all I have. I pull at the top. So, all this. It's patchy, obviously. Like, it's pretty much all gone, but bits are starting to grow in. And I'm lucky. I've been pulling for, I'm 33 now. I started when I was 14. So, wow, almost 20 years. My hair always grows back, so I'm lucky in that regard. Um, this piece, this is from bleaching, so it just broke right off. Uh, so I'll show you. I don't know if you can see. I pulled this out. And then the other side looks like that 
and then and then like shit hold on all this here has been pulled out so it's pretty bad I know I'm gonna look like a complete idiot with my head shaved. This kind of style I don't mind. I think I look better with um, longer hair around my face. And it's gonna, I'm not looking forward to having to grow my hair from scratch pretty much. Because I don't think short hair suits me. I mean, who knows, maybe I'll shave my head and I'll be like, ooh, you know, I'm pretty hot. No, I doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt it. And I have pulled all my hair back just to see what I would look like, you know, with no hair and no, it didn't look very good. <laughs> but you know, we'll see. I do have two wigs that I wear on occasion if I go out. One's brown, it's maybe down to here, it has kind of like a little bit of bang, layered, and I think it suits me. So there's always that option. And then I don't know, I just guess I have to be patient. And then I was also thinking, I was talking to um, Richard yesterday, just things that I can do while I'm, you know, going through that stage where my hair is going to be short and, you know, before it grows out again, it's going to be like a year before it's down to here again. My hair grows pretty quickly. So I was thinking, once it's maybe, so if anybody, this is, I have a question about dreadlock extensions. So if any of you are familiar with um, dreadlocks, um, dreadlock extensions, please leave a comment because I'm very curious about this. So we were thinking, my hair grows out enough, I dread it. Like I'm not going to go through the whole process of not washing, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to actually physically like back comb and roll and put some of that, I don't know, putty or glue they put in their hair people that have dreadlocks so maybe this I can handle this will be like maybe four months growth yeah my hair will grow about that much in four months so at that length what I'm asking is what's the minimum length that I can start dreading at and I'll dread I'll dread my natural hair and then I'll attach extensions to it so how would I would that be easy to do like once my short hair is dreaded can I weave in or attach the extensions somehow? Or does my hair have to be longer? Uh, any advice would be much appreciated. So I'll make another video, maybe, after I've shaved my head, if I don't look too terrible. It's gonna take some getting used to. I mean, obviously if I can't grab at it, it's all gonna fill in. Like it's all gonna fill in pretty nicely, but it just depends how idiotic I looked with a shaved head because I have a square head and my hairline. I have this kind of hairline, which I don't like. I'd like to have a normal hairline that goes like this, but unfortunately, you know, bad genes. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, I'm off to go shave my head. <laughs>